This is Pierce on the left side. He's got room the first down and more inside the 20. And will he get to the end zone? No, stop just short. Second and goal. Pierce, he will try again. And this time he's in. Touchdown for him. Kick on its way, and it is good. The 41st career field goal for Michael Morando. Metzel looking downfield. Got a man wide open. Wetzel to the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Looking and throwing, just throws it up in the air. That's going to be picked. And a jump ball that's just thrown up into the air. No LeVon Williams appears, comes down with the interception. Now, no, nothing against Nolan. But what was that? It's a teaching moment, Doug, right? Teaching. Nurturing. They, they're nurturing the kids. Metzel unloads downfield, and it is caught. That's how you get it done, says Tabucky Jones Jr. Piercy, one more time. Does he get in for his second touchdown of the day? He does. So on first down, they give the football to Mike Simaluka, and he is dropped in the backfield by Nick Marino. And it's going to be Edmonds reaches for the goal line. He's in for the touchdown. Chase Edmonds with his first score of the afternoon. Pass to Ajala's complete. He's across midfield. Stiff arm and stole the run. A first down and more to the near, near sideline. Will anybody catch him? He's in for the touchdown. Sam Ajala. 14, 15, you know what's coming. They got to drop back and get a five step step drop. You just put your ears back in pass rush. Wow. Metzel over the middle wow. to a wide open. Sam Ajala. Ajala already went to the house once today. And now he's dropped inside the 20. Season. Receiving yards record, 1,646, but driving his way into the end zone is Kendall Piercy. And I don't believe we've got Wetzel back there, and this punt is blocked. And it's going to be downed at about the 22-yard line. And so Fordham, their offense is going to come out here. This is Anderson keeps it himself. Boy, he takes a licking, but gets into the end zone anyway for the score. Sorry to have to start with this one, but uh, what happened to Mike and what's the status? Uh, we um, you know, had, a, had a play check at the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, we didn't get to check out front, which, you know, happens to a guy who got, uh, you know, Cut block and, and, and fell to his knee. So, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, feel optimistic about it, but he, they said, like, it takes a day or so, so he's going to get evaluated tomorrow and go from there. So, hope for the best. It was his knee? Yeah. That uh, next man up mentality that you've talked a lot about, was that on display again today, not just with uh, your quarterback here, but also with Kendall and other no, guys? No, yeah, absolutely. You know, you know Pete, Pete's up for relief pitcher of the year. I think he's done an unbelievable okay. job. Uh, and, you know, you know, three of the biggest games of the year. You know, and Pete stepped up and performed like unbelievably. And um, you know, and, and it, the great thing is that he doesn't. Nobody flinches. And it, and it was just business as usual. We went in, we called the game. Pete went in and executed. And you know, the guys around him did a great job. And I think that's the reason, part of the reason why we're sitting here, you know, undefeated in the Patriot League champs. Peter, can you talk about just always staying ready? Last couple of weeks, you knew you were going to start. Today, you start on the sidelines, but just always being ready to get in there. Right. Um, yeah, well, last, it helps when uh, you play the past two weeks, of course. Um, but I think uh, your mentality through the week is really important um, to take you into game day. Because uh, you, if, you know, if you're not prepared during the week, you know, you're not going to succeed during the, during the game. You don't give yourself a chance. Um, so that's, that's like the big thing with me, just to, just to be uh, preparing during the week. You've got three pretty strong wins under your belt the last three weeks. Um, if you were to remain a starter, if Michael's unable to get back out there, how confident are you that you can lead this team going forward? I feel great. I feel great about it. Um, I know I don't have to 
do anything that I can't, you know, that I can't do. I don't have to play above myself or anything. I, you know, the line to the running backs, the receivers, uh, they all help me out. And um, it, it definitely, these, these past three games have helped build a lot of confidence. The offense scored 52. Mm -hmm. Nothing more could be said favorable to that. But the defense played a great game, too, and really held Georgetown down. What would you like to say? No, I, I, I think our defense has you know, obviously had an outstanding performance today. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, they've done a really great job throughout the season. I, I mean, us and Georgetown are ranked one and two in scoring defense. Our defense has done a much better job, you know, playing run defense. And, you know, when you're holding teams to 20 points or less uh, with the ability we have to score points, you know, you're going to give yourself an opportunity to, to be in every game with a great you know, with a great chance to win. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more proud of our, our defensive our staff and our players. And, you know, they, they've done a fantastic job this year and, you know, challenged them to come out and play great defense today. And they did it once again. Brian, I saw a lot of guys uh, in the second quarter go over to talk to Mike and during a very difficult time. What do you say to him at that point? Uh, just tell him to keep his head up and let him know that uh, we have his back. We know that Pete's not going to miss a beat. Uh, basically tell him that we got his back, we're going to come out with a win, uh, move on next week and get healthy because, um, I, I mean, it's a team thing. And uh, he's one, a friend just as much as a player. And, uh, just basically tell him to keep his head up and let him know that we're there for him. Going back to freshman year, did either of you think that you would be sitting here just just so soon after that season? Um, I, I didn't after the season, no. But when I got here, I, I thought we had a special group of guys, and I thought that we could, if we stuck together, we could we could come out and do something great with the people that we had. Um, after the season, obviously, a 1-10 season, uh, kind of turned my turn around a little bit, but um, the new coaching staff came in. We all bought in, and uh, that's really what it was. We all bought in so quick and came together, and really, I think we just clicked. I think. Yeah. Coach, that was a gritty win last week, Patriot League championship, and then uh, no letdown to that. So that's the type of team that you have, and that's got to give you confidence heading into the next week and then the playoffs. Yeah. You know, we talked all week about uh, competing against the standard rather than the opponent in uh, anything less than, than our best preparation, our best, best effort, and our best execution wasn't acceptable. And there was plenty of things for us still to play for this week, even you know, with the uh, specter of complacency looming over our heads and you know, all the things that, that are kind of traps for a team that you know, doesn't really necessarily believe in, in, in the intangible aspect of the game and how it pertains to you know, success on the field. You know, it's a senior day, a chance to be the first Fordham team to go undefeated in Patriot League play, a uh, chance for these seniors to be undefeated at home in their senior year, undefeated for two years and whatever it was in one and three years, and really um, having the opportunity to, to build some momentum and build a resume uh, moving forward. And, uh, you know, aside from that, we had already clinched the championships, to, so come out and play like a championship team. And, uh, you know, I think defensively we did for the first half. Offensively, I think, you know, and I, I said to the guys, it's a compliment. When, when you're not satisfied with 24 <coughs> points and almost 300 yards, uh, you know, that, that's not, you know, a negative. It's just, hey, we're capable of more. And I thought we challenged them in the second half, and the offense did a great job stepping up and you know, performing at the level that they're capable of and, and that we expect of them. Given where you guys are headed, is the – Placement of the Army game next week. I know you can't do anything about that, but is that a is that a good spot for you? Is that where you want to play that game? No, absolutely kind of not. I mean, that's I mean, it's not ideal at all. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, control the control, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, they're obviously a very tough physical Division One team. They run a, an offensive scheme that you don't see the entire season, and you kind of have to get ready for it in one week's notice. And uh, you know, but obviously at the same time, you know, they're a very Storied and tradition-rich program. I played at Mikey before when I was at Akron, and, and it's a great experience up there. So you got to weigh the positives, weigh the negatives, and you know, uh, you know, just take it one game at a time.